Hey guys, this is Minimal Survival here today, and today we have something special set up for you. So, uh, about eight months ago, I had built this uh, Foxhole radio, slash crystal, crystal radio, and uh, there's actually some history behind this. Uh, this was the first kind of radio ever made, and uh, it was similar to this, but it was a little bit more fancier. And uh, in World War II, the GIs actually used these to listen in. So they could get some updated news about the war if they're in prison camps. And what's cool about this is they just uh, they could actually make these from their uh, from their trucks because they could pull out this wire. It's a enamel magnet wire. That's what you need. So uh, pretty much the hardest piece for them to get was this crystal earphone, and it took a while to make. So. Uh, you could actually make one of these using like a microwave if you have scrapped. But uh this piece you could also buy on Amazon for about like five bucks. And it is well worth it. So uh what I did was I watched Rimstar's videos and it got me inspired. So I kinda just started making one from uh I based it off of his video, but I kinda just made it myself. But uh it's a pretty simple design. It works. It's my portable version. I used to have this on a big piece of plywood. This is a big alternative to having a $50 radio because this one is about 10 bucks to build. Including that you have most of these supplies at your house. It's just the wire that you have to get. Unless you already have enamel magnet wire because some people already have that. And uh, get one of these. Oh, and uh, you need a 1 in 3, 4 germanium diode. That's another harder piece to find because uh, a bunch of shops, they don't sell them anymore because it's an older diode. So, uh, 1 in 3, 4 germanium diode. What that does is it directs the flow of, uh, directs the, flow of the energy. So, well, energy can come in, but it can't go back out. And how this works is, you don't need any power. That's why it worked for them back then. So what she does is, I have a, a wire set up that goes to the power plug, but it's not what you think. It's not ran by power. So I just have the ground wire working. You could also stick this in the dirt, but I'm on a second story, so I can't do that. So you just plug it in the ground. As you see, here are the other two ones. And it goes to your... Uh, goes to your radio it hooks up to the hooks up right there to the ground and the, the ground and the antenna both hook up together and wait don't never mind they don't so uh then this is kind of how you tune it you slide it i uh got some sandpaper and i s scrubbed that off and i made this kind of thing for finer tuning it so you don't just have a bunch of stations close together and um uh, so this has an antenna. This is kind of what powers it. Because the antenna draws energy from the radio waves. That's how it uses energy. Uh, look up a video online. There's actually a video that you could use the radio waves to power LED, which is really cool. So I have it running through my room. It's a little messy right now, but it just runs through. And it goes to a couple hook hangers. And, uh, yeah, so it just goes up there. Yeah, that's my new BDU I'm going to be doing for Air Force. It's going to be cool. Air Force JROTC. So I figured about me four minutes of talking. You might want to see it in action. So here, let me get the earpiece. Just so you know, this is like actually going. Okay, so ready? Now. Wait, let me test it. See if it's actually going. Yes, it's going. So there you go. And this is coming from this radio that doesn't require any power. It's really cool. It's really cool what you could do, guys. So, if you, uh, there's a lot of stuff online like this. I remember I got interested in this when I was looking up old radios. And you could use this for, like, collapses and stuff, because the only thing that you need to protect is the germanium diode. Because the rest of it's just wires so that you could easily assemble. And you could customize it too. Like, uh, you see this little tuning knob? I made that, it's really cool. Let me focus in on that. 
and there's these. I got 90 turns, which took a while, and then 25 turns, and they're both separate. And uh, this tune wire goes to this little uh, wire, goes around, goes up to it meets up with the ground in the right wire for the tuning slot. Well, thank you guys for watching. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more survival videos. And maybe if I get enough views and likes, I can show you how to make one of these. Or show you how to make other stuff that's kind of cool. See you guys next time. Bye.